Shumai a Kroiso. Hello and welcome to the Learn Welsh podcast. This is episode one. My pal, hello everyone and welcome to the Learn Welsh podcast with me, your host, Jason Shepherd. Bloi then now with the pal. Happy New Year, everyone. It's January 1st and if your New Year's resolution is to learn Welsh, then this is the best place to come as I am going to use lots of learning techniques to help you really remember those Welsh words and phrases really, really well. And if you've never learnt any Welsh before, well today, Lesson 1 is a great place to start because we are going to start right at the beginning with those hello and goodbye phrases. Today's lesson teaches you how to say hello and goodbye in Welsh, as well as related phrases such as good morning and good night. One great way to remember Welsh words and phrases is to come up with a picture in your mind and always associate it with the word you're learning. It might sound a little silly, but it is a fantastic way to remember words quickly and easily. Let's start with the word for hello in Welsh. It's spelled S-U-T-M-A-E and pronounced in South Wales as Shumai and in North Wales as Sitmai. Let's start with the South Walesian way of saying hello. Imagine that I am holding a shoe, a shoe that I have just taken off my foot. It's my shoe. My shoe. It's not your shoe. It's not one of my friend's shoes. It's not the man down the road's shoe. No, it's the shoe that I bought to put on my foot. Well, technically, I bought a pair of shoes, but it's one of those shoes. It's my shoe. Let's reverse it. Shoe my. Shoe my. Shoe my. Imagine I'm waving the shoe at you. I'm saying hello. Shumai. Shumai. Just imagine a daft Welshman, that's me by the way, waving my shoe at you, saying hello. Shumai. So whenever you are trying to remember how to say hello in Welsh, there's a good chance that image will come to mind. Because it's quite a silly image, and the more unusual the image, the more likely they are to stay and stick in your mind. To say the North Wales version of hello, let's create a visual image to help us remember the word. So I want you to imagine that you are feeling tired, you're at home and you want to sit down. And most of us, when at home, have a special chair that we prefer to sit in. I want you to imagine that you are sitting in your chair. But I want you to think to yourself, I sit in my chair. Sit my. I sit in my chair. Sit my. And you're in your chair waving to somebody. Hello, sit my. Sit my. You don't have to use my memory suggestions, of course. If you would rather make up your own images, images that are more personal to you and therefore easier for you to remember, then you can. What I am doing is giving you examples that have worked for me and can also work for you. Not every word lends itself to this visualisation technique. But many do, and they make remembering words so much easier than just repeating a word over and over until you remember it. 
which is what most of us had to do when learning languages in school. And it's not an effective way to remember words, which is why we are using all these other techniques, including the visualisation technique. Now in North Wales, they often abbreviate sitmai to smai, spelt S apostrophe M A E, smai, which is the equivalent of the English phrase hi. I've also got a learning technique you can use here, which is basically rhyming the Welsh word with an English word that you know well, and then visualising a picture from that rhyme. And if English isn't your primary language, then you can rhyme the Welsh word with a word from your language, if you prefer. So, for example, smy rhymes with the English word spy. So I would visualise a spy character, such as James Bond, saying hello. Every time I wanted to say smy, the image of James Bond would then come to my mind of him saying hello in Welsh, and I would instantly say, Smy! Smy! For the next few phrases, we need the Welsh word for good. So we can say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, etc. The word for good is da, spelt D-A. It sounds exactly like the word you'll have heard Russian characters use in Cold War movies. Except in Russian, it means yes. So just imagine a Russian saying the word da. Da, yes, yes, it's good. Da. Da. Let's start with good morning, which is Boreda. Boreda. Bore, spelt B O R E, like the English word bore. Oh, I'm so bored. That kind of bore. But with an extra E, an E sound when pronounced. Bore. So just imagine our Russian friend finding the morning a bore. What a boring good morning. Bore da. Bore da. Good afternoon in Welsh is pranhaun da. Pranhaun da. So it's the afternoon and let's imagine that our friend the Russian is having a good afternoon, but he's also learning English today. In his English class, he is learning all about pronouns, but he can't get the pronunciation right. He keeps saying, Pranhaun. But he's feeling good about it. Da. Pranhaun da. Good afternoon. Pranhaun da. But in North Wales, it's often shortened to Pananda. Pananda. Which sounds like you are pronouncing the letter P in English, the P, and the word noun. And then that word that the Russian likes to say over and over, da. Pananda. Pananda. To say good evening in Welsh, we use the phrase Noswaith Tha. Noswaith Tha. Here is a really silly image for you that will help you to remember the phrase Noswaith Tha. Think of Noswaith as a giant nose. That's right, what you smell with, a giant nose. In a wedding dress, getting married. Yes, she is a nose wife. Run the words together quite quickly and you end up with noswife. Noswife. 
Let's add our Russian friend's favourite word, da, and we get nosvaitva. Now, the word for good is slightly different here. It is va, double d-a, rather than da, just d-a, as an extra d. And that creates a slightly different sound. Rather than a d sound, a d sound, it creates a th sound, as in the English word them. Now, this is what we call a mutation. Don't worry about it for now, we will go into mutations later on. But just for you to know, that slightly different sound is the same word, da becoming va. So, for the full phrase, noswaith va. Good evening, noswaith va. Now that I have shown you a few different ways to say hello, let's look at various ways we can say goodbye. Firstly, we have the word hoil, spelt H-W-Y-L. Hoil. Hoil. A good way to remember this word is to imagine you're shouting at somebody in the distance. Hoy! But add that little L. Hoil. Hoil. Now, if we wanted to say an emphatic goodbye, not just bye, but bye, we have two big goodbye phrases, more emphatic. One is pob hoil, which literally means every goodbye, pob hoil, and hoil vaur, which literally means a big goodbye. Vaur being the mutated form of maur. Now, hoil vaur, the vaur bit is pronounced like the English word vow, but with that little bit of a rolling R at the end of it. That motorbike sound that children make when they're pretending to be on a motorbike. Rrr, rrr, but just a little bit. Rrr, vaur. Hoil vaur. Hoil vaur. In South Wales, although many people say hoil hoil vaur, etc., we also have our own phrase, which is da bochi. Da bochi. Da, as in good. Bo almost sounds like the English word bow, as in a bow tie or a hair ribbon. And he sounds very similar to the word key, but that ch sound, because it's spelt c h i, he, sounds like the end of the word loch, as in loch ness. So say the word key, but with that ch sound in front of it. He, he, da bochi. Now that makes me think of a bow, a large bow in the shape of a key. And it's really well made. It's a good bow in the shape of a key. Da bochi. Da bochi. Goodbye. And of course, a lot of South Wales people just shorten da bochi to da bo. Da bo. Finally, we have the phrase no star, which means good night. No star. Now it sounds like I'm saying there are no stars in the sky. No star. But it's spelt N O S, nos, followed by da. Nos meaning night, da meaning good. No star. No star. So one way to visualize this is to think of a sky that is completely black, no stars in it at all, no lights anywhere. It has no star. No star. Good night. (music) 
Now, I get asked this particular question quite often, and I think the first lesson is a good place to answer it. The question is, which form of Welsh should I learn? People say to me, should I learn the North Walesian, the North Wales Welsh, or the South Walesian Welsh? North or South? Well, the truth is, there is only one form of Welsh, one language but we have regional variations and some pronunciation differences. But I've spoken to people from all over Wales in Welsh and we all find a way to understand each other. The biggest language differences are the various regional words. So you'll have one word in, say, South Wales and a different word for the same object in North Wales or Mid Wales. For example, the Welsh word for now, where I come from in South Wales, is nawr, which sounds like the English word now, with an extra r, nawr. But in North Wales, they tend to say ruan, ruan. Of course, sometimes there are some slight grammatical differences between the North and South, but we will cover all of those differences in the lessons to come. So this is our first Learn Welsh podcast lesson, but obviously I want to create more and more lessons to help you to learn the Welsh language and to become fluent speakers. My vision is to create a Learning Welsh course from beginners all the way up to fluent speaker and to make those lessons always free. That includes, of course, this podcast and the videos that I make for YouTube. But to do that, I need your support. Now, if you are able to support the Learn Welsh podcast, then you can go to my Patreon page, www.patreon.com slash learnwelsh and donate there. Any money you give, you will get some exclusive learning materials to help you to better learn the Welsh language. And of course, not everyone can afford to donate money in these times, but you can help by spreading the word about this podcast to other Welsh learners and also review this podcast on your favourite podcatcher or on iTunes. So I'll say now, Dioch and Vaur Iawn, Thank you very much for your support. If you would like to get in touch with me, my email address is learnwelshpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, you can also get in touch with me through Twitter, where I am at LWPodcast. Well, it's time for me to go. See you soon. Hoil! Hoil!